Okay, let's take a look at how to um, add a form to your website. Um, so forms are a great way to capture information from your website visitors. Now it's actually one of the most important things that you can do on your website because capturing information, um, your website has to have a purpose and oftentimes it's to get a lead or to get an email address. There's so many benefits to being able to have information from the visitors so that you can repeat, repeatedly, repeatedly expose them to what you have to offer. So forms are a great way to do that and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now I'm going to show you how to do it using a technology called Ambit Update because Ambit Update is a very very easy way to get in and make changes to your website um, adding forms to your website um, are a breeze and you don't have to mess with any type of code, HTML, um, JavaScript or any of that stuff to get in, add a code and make it actually work. It's a very complicated thing to do by hand but Ambit Update is going to make it extremely easy. Okay, so let us add a form. Now a very very quick way to generate a form is using Google Docs because it's it's one thing to be able to add a form to your um, website but it's another thing to be able to collect that information in a way that you can use it parse it and do all kinds of things with it so I'm gonna go to docs.google.com and more than likely you have a Google account so if you already have a, like you have Gmail or you have a YouTube account or anything you already have access to Google Docs so you hit docs.google.com and you wanna create a new form okay so let's go ahead and create a form now we're gonna create the questions to the form and what's gonna happen is the questions are going to go on an Excel on a spreadsheet that's like Excel and all the answers are going to update on that sheet as they come in so it's a very simple way to collect information but in a way that's parsable using commands that you're comfortable with using pr programs like Excel okay so what we want to do, so what we want to do is add this form to the contact. So this is a sample website for a Chinese restaurant, and people may want to um, input their information here. Now this is a this is a form that came with this template that I set up, but we're going to replace that out and add a new form, um, and make that form when they hit the send button actually go into an Excel type document. Okay, so first name, last name, email, zip code. Um, so let's type in this first name um, and for this one we can just edit and type in last name so you can see it's it's really easy if I wanted to make it a required entry I could do that if I want to add another one uh, let's see what was it uh, email email is very important to have because then you can start to get them to come back to your site um, and let me go ahead and, and, and fill out the rest off camera and I'll come back when it's all done. Alright, so I'm done. I just added all these and for this one I just put a paragraph text instead of a regular text. And so I've collect I have all the information that I want um, that was on here. I have it on here. Now, a quick little tip about creating forms is that the less information you ask for, the more people are going to be willing to um, to add the information. So right off the bat I can see that I should probably, I don't have to have their last name and this is just personal. Um, I don't have to have their zip code um, or their address but it'd be nice to have their phone and I can make that a non-optional field. So here it's a optional field and for maybe this one I can make it a required a requirement and maybe make this one a requirement. So we don't want to ask for too much, but we also don't want to ask for too little. Okay, so once we're done, we're going to just save this. So now the form is saved. So now how do we get this form onto our website? Well, first let me go ahead and set a nice theme, something that matches our background. So let's, uh, I think I found one um, on the second page here. Uh, where'd it go? Here we go let's make this form so this is really nice very nice looking form it's saved and now let us put this form on this page of our site and we're gonna do that using the ambit update technology alright so let's say uh, go to more actions and we'll say embed and we're just gonna copy this 
code. We don't care what the code says. We're just going to copy it. And now we're going to go ahead and put it in Abbott Update. So with Abbott Update, all you have to do to make a change to your website is just browse the page you want to make a change to. And we're going to do it right here. And we are going to hit the button called Edit This Page. Now this is a button that you get with Abbott Update. All right, and then opens up an editor where you can literally just uh, make changes right on the screen. And so I might want to add my address here, my office numbers, etc. But here is where we want to actually delete this form out. So let's remove that just like that. And so you can see that we're making changes live on the website. <laughs> Uh, just like we would if we were typing up a letter or something like that. Okay, so to add your form right here, you just select where you want to add it, and then we head over to the Insert menu, and there's a ton of things you can do on this menu, and hit the Paste HTML button. Once we have this window open, we can just right-click and paste the code that Google gave us. Now, we don't care what's said in the code, but this is the code that but we just paste in what they say and we're gonna hit this paste now button alright so paste now and there you go here is our form just like that inside our our our, our web page alright now let's save this this is a really really easy for when we want to make this live to our actual website we're gonna go ahead and hit the publish button and it immediately will publish it to our website so let's go ahead and view the live page and let's refresh that form and there you go here is the site so people can come on our site and when they want to make a contact they can go ahead and add their information so I'll say testing and then the email test at test.com 234567 and this is just a test alright so now let's submit it okay so it's it's been recorded now we can go back to our Google Docs and let's refresh this page and here's our form now we should have titled it so that it would appear up t it would appear titled um, over here but you can always do that and now let's go ahead and click on that and there you go your entries come in live it tells you when it comes in and all the information so I can pick up the phone and give these people a call right now so the program we did this with was um, Ambit Update. Now this is a program that you can get. You don't have to download anything. You just need a web browser and a couple minutes of your time to get in and you can make all kinds of changes to your website. You can do pictures, audio, videos, um, whatever you kind of can imagine that you would normally tell a webmaster to do, um, you can actually do it here. And if you ever get stuck while using the program, there's a button, a questions button, um, right here where there's a live professional webmaster that will answer any of your questions or actually implement the changes that you have for you. So if you want to get access to this software, just head over to ambitupdate.com forward slash try it now. And all you got to do is enter your, your website address. You click the button that says get access and you're in. You can start doing things like add for, adding forms to your website, you know, within a couple of minutes. So you get easy, instant, do-it-yourself website updates such as adding forms um, um, with the push of a button.